Hey, this is Vishal and today we have another session of the day that is related to the MVVM events. Uh, how we can use that events inside the view model and how we can uh, pass the values using the intent in another activity so that's the scenario of the day actually this is very uh, very small part of the tutorial or a second part of the tutorial of my mvvm recycler view and i just showed to you and explained to you how can do that this part how we can achieve this uh, as i described you in my previous tutorials also but this is a special for the events so you can learn because of i have seen that many comments user want that how we can uh, check the events and how we can push the intent values on the other activity so that's the scene by the view model i will create and first uh, i'm really appreciate for your good comments and uh, your appreciation related to the, my videos enthusiasm of learning so that's boost me up that i will create more videos uh, for you whatever be the technology is going on so that's really be awesome for me uh, thank you so much for my new subscribers and also be for those who are uh, watching my videos from past so that's be uh, really a good sign for me and i will make for more videos for you okay and uh, as, as i uh, described you on my dagger tutorial last time that i will make more videos related to the dagger yeah sure i will continue on that too uh, because of nowadays i'm just a uh, busy or hang up in some tutorial uh, in some projects so i have no time for for making um, the tutorials big tutorials so soon i will upload for the dagger video also but today just uh, describe to you how we can use the events in your view model so let us start it in android studio okay so let us start in android studio uh so as uh, uh, i described in my previous tutorial that is the month ago in which i describe you the recycler view and the grid view so that is the second part of that those who are new and uh, want to start it uh, from here first you have to see that how we can implement a view model then apply the events in it so it's very simple so what to do a uh, very basic thing as uh, we did many times you just go for a package and in that package you have to make a presenter and that presenter you have to create a java class and that java class is we have a interface that is a presenter and in it uh, we have a simple void on uh category event or whatever you give the name of that so this is our category event we have to find the category id okay and now this is our inner layout in which we have did the data binding we have a variable and here i am giving the name of presenter and you just say the presenter be here uh, yes and then you get it the variable and now this is our card view so the scene is that uh, we have to click here and go for the next activity and get id from this and give the and by the intent we have to open the new activity and give the details of particular user so just i am just showing how to pass it not a detail on that I just showing that this is the particular ID how we fetch and how we can pass it using the intent and how we open the new new activity using the view model. So that's simple uh, uh, because of I very less time. So I just make a small video. So here you can see that uh, we have uh, on click. So on click uh, we have at uh, this is your V arrow and you can say it is a presenter presenter dot whatever be the method okay so this is spelling always be the same because sometimes it gives a mistake too. okay so that is the on category category event so once uh, you have to 
uh, built, rebuilt it because of sometimes uh, never recognize the things because of we have to get these things in an adapter. So sometimes it happen, otherwise it can uh, set the presenters easily, no issue. Okay, so just uh, nothing. You go for the custom adapter, and in this, uh, in this custom adapter, if you see that there is a category binding because of everything should be we have to do or every approach we have to do that is by the category binding so just once gradle be built we can go for this presenter how we can set the presenter be here Okay, so the grid will be finished and then see this is the category binding dot set presenter and this is your new presenter. Okay, so on this uh, you have to say that we have a click and here we have a show toast. So you can see that on a particular IDB we can get it. But how we can get it? This is your category binding dot get category model dot whatever your model and what you need you need id so that i have to pass it there so this is our id we have to pass and how we can pass it so for that we need a intent i that is equals to your new intent and uh, here we have passed the context because of we have no any activity so and uh, we have to go for the detail so this is your detail activity uh, yeah dot class okay so we have to pass the data in your detail activity using the intent and uh, here where it is yeah okay and here you have to say that i dot put extra and on this extra you just simply as you do uh, you said you say order and uh, ID and you have to pass the things we here just copy whatever your ID and this is the value you have to pass and that means you have to and here you don't can't uh, say the start activity I here you can say this is the context dot start activity and this is your i so whenever you click on the particular it goes on that okay so that is the scene we have to create and uh, yeah okay so let us start it uh, on uh, let's see on your hmm. i think it show me some mistake no it's fine okay so uh, we have a uh, journey motion So once it opens up later, we can just pass the values and show it how we can do. Okay, so let's see what happened in it. Uh, yeah, so you can see that uh, we have a three titles and when we click on the first title, it show to the one and go to the next activity. If we go back on the previous one, this is the second order ID. You can see that and go to the and whatever be the details you pass it and uh, this is the third activity you can see third number and so this is a simple how we can pad the events be here in inside the view model so everything should be an adapter you can go with the category binding so it's very easy and uh, i will upload more tutorials and i will continue the tour of the dagger also but just uh, I get a time so we'll make more videos for you thank you so much thank you for the day